in the water, there was so much freedom that I could move from one point to another without any obstacles, any hindrances. Swimmer Yip Pin Siu is one of Singapore's sporting heroes. She represented Singapore in the 2008 Beijing Paralympics and took home the first ever gold medal for Singapore. She also set two new world records. Persevering and courageous, Pin Siu does not let her physical disabilities deter her from turning her dreams into a reality. About two and a half years old, uh, one day my sister was telling me from behind she can see that uh, Pin Siu couldn't flex out her feet. So when we saw the way she walked, we were quite worried, so we sent her to the doctor for a checkup. Her actual condition is called a hereditary motor and sensory neuropathy, which is a big term to describe a condition where she gets numbness and weakness uh, of her muscles, uh, starting at her fingers and toes and progressing slowly up her arms and legs. I fully knew about my condition maybe when I was five or six. I wasn't really curious because I felt that it, there wasn't really anything that could be done about it. So I, I just lived with it. Uh. Despite her deteriorating physical condition, her passion for swimming has driven her to reach greater heights in the competitive swimming arena. This optimist is determined to prove to herself and others that she can overcome the challenges she faces and always come out triumphant. During my first com national competition, I competed in six events and I won six gold medals. It was very fun because everybody there, they were very excited and, and they were very happy. When Pian Siu finally gained national recognition in the swimming arena, she then joined the Singapore Paralympic swimming team and represented Singapore in international competitions. At the 2008 Beijing Paralympics, in front of an international audience, Pin Siu made history with her triumphant win. The Paralympics, they were always a dream ever since I started competing internationally, ever since I knew that it was possible. So I was excited that I was there, my dream was finally going to come true. When they were raising the flag, I really feel very, very happy for her. She has really achieved uh, something that she's looking forward to. Her astounding performance at the Paralympics was cause for tremendous celebration in Singapore. Pin Siu's win also raised public awareness for the Singapore Paralympic team. Uh, I think it's great that Pin Siu uh, has raised the awareness of disability sports because we've been waiting so long for um, results in the Paralympics and in this game we actually came back with gold, um, silver and two bronzes and I think that's uh, something that I'll never forget. She's uh, considered an ideal athlete. She would actually be someone that I would identify as a, a role model for many of our swimmers. When you take into account then what people call her condition, to me, she's simply an elite athlete who happens to have a medical condition. With all the hard work that Prince Sue has put in, we really hope that she can inspire others to achieve their dreams. In spite of her achievements, Pin Siu is not sitting on her laurels. Despite her condition, she continues to train and hopes to compete in the London 2012 Paralympics. Winning for me is not actually about the medals, but it's more of better timings. Yeah, so I, I kind of get more satisfaction when I, I do personal best more than if I win a medal and I don't get a very good time. Her passion and determination continue to inspire the people around her life. Stay positive in whatever you do, because having any negative thoughts would be creating a psychological barrier for yourselves, and that would stop you from achieving your goals. Be passionate in what you do, enjoy what you do, and stay focused.
Laurentia Town has put Singapore on the world map for competitive equestrian riding. Unfazed by the obstacles life throws her, Laurentia is a testament to living life to its fullest. By the time Laurentia was 10 months old, she wasn't sitting, she wasn't crawling or doing the things that babies normally do at that age. Laurentia has a condition called cerebral palsy which she's had since she was born and it's characterized by increased resting muscle tone or the muscles are tighter than normal. When Laurentia was three, her family decided to move to England so that she could benefit from its conducive education system. I was able to put a key to David and my school from the age of so I was in college school and my friend. I was always driving to do what my friend could do, but that didn't really stop me. In England, she was introduced to horse riding as a form of physiotherapy. Laurentia became hooked and she has not looked back since. I started riding when I was five again, but I do remember that it was very balancing and I actually kept lasting. Her passion drove her to train professionally. She did not let her disability get in the way. For this young achiever, no obstacle was too hard to overcome. An excellent sportswoman, she excelled in both her studies and horse riding. Laurentia's hard work and years of training paid off. She performed excellently and qualified for a coveted place in the 2008 Paralympics. In, in March 2008, when it was confirmed that I was going to represent in the part of the Paralympics in Beijing, and we were all so excited. I mean, I didn't even think about going to the Paralympics. It was like beyond my dream. It was something that dreamed I made of. She won two bronze medals in the 2008 Paralympics and made history as the first Asian medalist in the Paralympic equestrian competition. Singapore and Asia celebrated her amazing feat. When I finished, so I got my bronze medal and I thought that I was dreaming and I can do remember being in a state of shock. To be honest, I didn't even realize I was going to be doing a part of her first medal for the Paralympics. But we were all sure for the first time in the whole Asia. Beyond the medals she has won for Singapore, it is Laurentia's optimism and courage that continue to move and encourage the people in her life. She shows how it's possible to overcome your own disabilities. Laurentia proves that these things can be overcome. She has shown that with will and determination she can achieve what she sets out to do, despite struggles and difficulties along the way. I feel really tapped in on it when people come up to me and say that I'm an inspiration. I love to help people in any way I can, and if that means I can inspire others in their life, I am happy. A will to live life to its fullest continues to fuel her aspirations and inspire others to follow their dreams. See today, you never know where things may go, so go ahead and follow your dream, persevere, and focus on the things that you enjoy and make you happy, because life is too short to do otherwise.